guys. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I'm done with school now, so here I am. Today I thought I'd share a style that I've been wearing pretty frequently for the past month and a half. I get this really nice wavy texture using one of two techniques, both of which I'll be showing you today. So to start off with, I'll be using water as my main source of hydration. And my sealant and styler of choice is the newest addition to my hair care regimen, shea butter. Also, as a side note, I usually create this look on hair that's already somewhat stretched, so an old twist out or a roller set will work just fine. So now that we have everything we need, let's get started. I always part my hair into five sections. Two in the front, one at the crown, and two in the back. It's just easier for me that way, but you can obviously part yours however you want. Just make sure to use large sections for this style. For this technique, I'm basically making one large corner out of the section. I make three smaller sections to start the braid, and while adding hair to the sections, I make my way down the hair shaft until I get to the very end. I like this method a little more than the second because although it does require more effort to install, the takedown creates layers that are already perfectly separated and in my opinion more natural looking. At the end of the braid, I spray one last bit of water and twirl the hair around my fingers to create a curl that locks the braid in place. For anyone who has trouble creating a cornrow, which is completely understandable by the way, technique number two is for you. All you have to do is create a braid using the entire section. So here are my three sections. And here's my braid. Easy peasy. I spray the end with water and twirl it just like before. I normally use one method to create five braids all over my head, which gives me the loose texture that I'm looking for while stretching my hair in the process. To set the style as I sleep, I wrap it up using my satin scarf. After some much needed rest, it's time to unravel my hair. As you can see, there's not much difference in how the two sides came out, which is why a simple braid for each section is a perfect alternative to the cornrow.
Now I just fluff my hair out, play with it a little bit, and I'm ready to go. So hopefully you found these tips useful and maybe you're willing to give the loose wavy look a try. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.